Okay, so my reactor videos lately have been getting a little out of hand lengthwise, so I'm gonna try to keep this one brief. I had a question from one of my students about how to do portamento glide between notes in reactor, and I wanted to show you a really super quick way to do it that's really easy to implement. I'm putting together a very basic pulse wave oscillator here with an oscilloscope, and if this is going too fast for you, I'll throw up a link of where you can find more info. Okay, so no portamento here, very, very simple. I wanna show you something real quick, which isn't a portamento, but this is the idea of how this portamento is gonna work. I'm just gonna choose this multi-two-pole filter. Let's wire this up with just the low pass. Creating control of the pitch. We're not gonna to touch resonance today. Now, watch what happens when the pulse wave goes through this filter. Okay, that pulse wave is getting rounded out. Does this make sense? Okay, let's take that filter, cut it. And now instead of our audio, let's put it in our note pitch. Note pitch goes in. Since the two pole filter is outputting at audio rate, it's white there, we're gonna need an A to E. Convert the low pass to an event. Okay, now check this out. So what's happening here? Well, okay, so when we apply this to the audio of our pulse wave, the signal is jumping from negative one to one. Again, that's our audio signal, jumping from negative one up to one. The low pass filter filtered out some of those harmonics, and so it smoothed it down. It made it more like a sine wave. So when we play pitches that jump from one pitch to another, we can smooth that transition too, smooth that control data. Now we might want to adjust the range of this P cutoff knob to have it be a little bit lower but there's your super easy portamento. Again, only works with a monophonic synthesizer because once you make it polyphonic with an audio voice combiner, this isn't gonna function the same way. A slightly more complicated way to do this would be with a slew limiter. We can just take this slew limiter and with the slew limiter, we have control now over the rise time and the fall time and we can control these separately. Anyway, super easy, super quick. Try these both out in your ensembles. I'm gonna leave it there. See you next time.